Hello and welcome to my very first Grand Blue Fantasy vs Rising tournament. So I haven't entered any tournaments for this game yet, and I also haven't bought the final, the full game for quite some time. But I, after losing at Salt EU, I had time to enter the next, to enter a tournament just afterwards and get a little bit out of the frustration. So I just bought the game on a whim and entered the tournament. And I only bought the game so I could have access to Grimnir because my Siegfried that I was playing that week wasn't ready yet. And yeah, let's see how this goes. So I'm against VAS Shauna. Okay, you English people say W, but I don't care. <laughs> um, and actually, they are somewhat of a newbie from in the FGC, uh, con considering the title that they gave themselves in the card. And at this point, I know that they wanted to bridge the gap with uh, Vera's air movement, so I just throw out the unique version, the metered version of the tornado projectile that Grimnir has. At that point, I was sadly a little bit too far away for the seal to... I mean, I don't even know if I can say seal, uh, probably yes, uh, for the seal to hit. And here her sweep was a little bit faster than mine, but I... I get the extension here, but of course uh, should have used Raging Strike or anything to extend the combo even further because I didn't get the wall bound that I was looking for. But I'm, I think preserving um, the bravery point was still the right idea here. I eat massive chunks of damage, so good job on my for my opponent here, for, uh, putting out such a huge damage. But yeah, I win the second round as well. And this ma it takes uh, is the first match in the tournament that I win. And yeah, here I didn't confirm sadly. Actually, good grab at that point. And honestly, that's something that I've seen online a lot. And I'm not reacting to it right now. So essentially, um, the grab is the most risky version for Vera to enter her super powered state. And usually, you shouldn't get hit by it. And I get hit by it all the time, I don't really know how to stop it, and that's definitely something that I will need to learn if I want to take this game a little bit more serious, which I might, I'm not sure about this yet. After all, my main game is Blaze Blue, and it will probably always be Blaze Blue. And at th that uh, jump unique from Grimny is pretty bad for comboing. You can combo afterwards, but it's very specific and very rarely that that happens in a match, which is a little bit sad. I think they could give it a little bit more, but all in all, Grimly is a strong character, I believe. Even though Twitter says something else, and uh, yeah. I'm not maining him because Diaphone is maining him, but I was surprised. Not surprised, but I, uh, I think it's useful for me that Diaphone seems to have a similar taste in terms of characters in Granblue because I also tried out Zoe, and she was also lots of fun. Okay, nice. At this point, she, uh, my opponent, has a, a round lead, and also is putting lots of pressure on me. So what I've noticed in this match is that uh, normally when I play online, people are jumping like crazy, but this person decides no, I'm not jumping. Uh, and honestly, it's working in their favor for the most part because obviously, without jumping, I don't. Um, I don't get this, those big fatal hits. Here I got a counter hit, but I didn't convert correctly. Sadly, I still really don't. I still don't have the right routes for Grimnir. But here I got like a route that I was able to find myself. Yeah, and that is the one advice that I can give any beginner in any fighting game: never, uh, never do a desperation super. Like it might work out every now and then, but most of the time you're just throwing away the round so instead keep your nerves uh, as calm as possible and try to clutch it out in some other way you can go for some uh, for some risky options of course but uh, yeah um, aspiration super rarely is 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 it it's only really is if you can kind of use it on reaction or anything then it's a good option but at this point it's not and here I got finally got a good anti air, and I think I could have even used the seal there, which would have given me more corner carry as well. And they landed my tornado, so sadly my upper, uh, yeah, my dash attack, which is an overhead, didn't connect. 
Because that's one of those techniques that I uh, saw die from using, so I tried to use it as well. And this marks my first uh, win in this tournament. And to be honest, this was not the first match in my tournament because I effed up the recording for the first one, which was against Peter, who completely destroyed me and who is apparently a very strong and um, and known figure in the Gramble Fantasy Versus community because um, he also made fifths and I've already heard his name before. Next, I'm next up. I'm against Jack, so. Um, He's playing Shiox, so if you've en heard any discourse of uh, about Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, then you probably have heard that he's one of the um, two big problems that people see. But uh, Europe is kind of different. Um, at least this is a French tournament, by the way, and the commentating was on French as well. But at least at th in this tournament, there was, I believe, no Shiox and no near in the top eight, which is insane. And actually, I'd like to commentate a little bit more about the match here instead of just saying other random stuff. But uh, I just get pretty much destroyed. And honestly, it's it's pretty much down to I don't know the matchups that well. And also, my opponent doesn't play bad. And I haven't played Grimnir or the game for quite some time. At that point, I believe uh, I played it on Monday for an hour or anything with Siegfried and Grimnir then um, was three, was two weeks before in the rotation because I only played the free version, right? And um, I only didn't, I didn't even play him the entire week. I split the week between him and Zoe. So uh, yeah, that shows how rusty my Grimnir was and there was not really time to do any practice matches beforehand because uh, the tournament uh, started right when I dropped out of salty EU. So I'm at this point I'm a very rusty Grimnir and again not very optimal in any means and my opponent definitely has learned a lot more about the character and about the game and you see this all the time like um, I don't know how to punish his backdashes if I can punish them at all but I believe I probably can but I don't know and so he can do it over and over again and just run around with the game there and um, yeah and you also see him staying on top of me all the time despite Grimnir also being a very offensively capable character so I'm playing him very defensively here because honestly I don't know when to mesh I don't know when to take my turn and as such he's just staying on top of me like that and that should be I mean that's not the round and I got to get a good mesh there, but I don't convert the mesh and then, yeah, it doesn't amount to anything, right? Last uh, round of the set, like, I don't need to uh, lie to you, there's no way I'm bringing this back. But of course, I'm still showing, uh, giving my best here, always uh, show some value and effort that will pay out in the end. It's the very least, um, as Lyria says, when you lose, um, it's okay to lose, just uh, see it as a learning experience. And that's what I'm doing here. I still don't know again, I need to lap out, not necessarily lap out, but I need to play out this matchup a little bit more against a little bit weaker opponents first and then get to the stronger opponents and maybe play long sets. And so Jack, uh, Jack takes this, he goes 2-2 two, two out of the tournament at the end. I found this tournament over the Hearts of Blazing Discord, so essentially if you are in Europe and want to join any Grand Blue Fantasy vs Rising event, you will find it there. That goes for this event as well as any other event like the Hard Edge Weeklies hosted every week. Uh, make sure to join those too. I know this graphic says Grand Blue Fantasy vs, but it's rising and it will be updated soon I believe because uh, Uni 2 is on the horizon and there will be Uni 2 tourneys as well or events at Hard Edge. So if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Maybe like and subscribe. You tell me your opinion in the comments. Actually, I have got a question for you. Do you prefer the ga in game music or do you want to have my usual danceable music list that I uh, use for this kind of stuff? So, yeah, that's about all, folks. See you in tournament. Until then, bye bye.